So we've already talked about uh, linear combinations. Uh, so now we're going to talk about something that's very closely related. We're going to talk about the linear independence of a set of vectors. So here, a set of vectors is linearly independent of c sub 1, v sub 1, plus c sub 2, v sub 2, all the way up to c sub k, v sub k, however that may, many that may be, only has the trivial solution c sub 1 is equal to 0, c sub 2 is equal to 0, all the way up to c sub k equal to 0. Okay, so what that is saying, basically what that is saying is, when we solve these uh, problems, if we get zeros for um, all of our coefficients, it's linearly independence. If we get any other solution, it's linearly dependent. Okay? So now, so let's look at this one. So example one says, are the vectors 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 0, 0 linearly independent? So this is how we need to set this um, matrix up. Remember, everything is still going back to our uh, row operations and getting everything in row echelon form. But now we set this equal to what? 0, 0, 0. And we still go through um, with our elementary row operations. So the first thing I want to do, I want to say um, negative 1, row 1, plus row 2 to give me a new row 2. All right. So that's 1, 0, 1. This stays the same. Uh, this is going to be 0, 1 negative 1 and 0. This is 0, 1, 1 and 0. Okay, now we want to look at our next um, operation. I would say negative 1 row 2 plus row 3 to give us a new row 3. Okay, so this is 1, 0, uh-oh. This is 1, 0, 1, 0. I'm sorry, this keeps switching colors on me. Zero, one, negative 1, 0. This would be 0. 0, 2, 0. We have um, now completed this problem. Well, the matrix part and the reduction part, because now we are in row echelon form. Okay, we can see the triangle that we're always looking for. So now that we've done this, we can use our back substitution. Remember, what we said, we always want to push our way down, and then back substitute ourselves back up. So this will be 2z is equal to 0. Therefore, z is equal to 0. y minus z is, is equal to 0. y minus 0 is equal to 0. So y is equal to 0. And x plus z is equal to 0. x is equal to 0. So here it goes right back to the definition that we looked at before. All right? Which we showed that if we only have the solution 0 0 0 then it is indeed linearly independent. If we have anything else it is linearly dependent.